find the baraka, so we're ready. So we're gonna start this week's episode with a film called How would you feel about pulling a job with about five other guys? Busted in and busted out of a diamond wholesalers. Daylight during business hours, dealing with the cloud. Okay guys, so if you don't know it, you have no taste whatsoever in movies. You have no taste whatsoever in movies. No taste in film whatsoever. Reservoir Dogs sounds like an action slash chaotic film from the 90s, uh, directed by the one and only Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, uh, to keep it short, an awesome director, cool movie, first masterpiece. So, check the trailer. Alienate, it's the white. If you want to know something he won't tell you, cut off one of his fingers, the little one. Then tell him his thumb's next. After that, I'll tell you if he wears ladies' underwear. It's the blonde. I don't really give a good fuck, you know, I don't know. But I'm gonna torture you anyway. It's the orange. You're not gonna get hurt because you're super cool. Mr. Pink. Why am I Mr. Pink? Because you're a faggot, all right? <laughs> So the story is quite simple. Uh, six criminals, professional, team up to do like a diamond robbery for a mob boss called Joe Cabot. Anyway, uh, when they meet up, they get like special names so they don't get attached to each other. And Quentin Tarantino's character gets the nickname Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, that's a little too close to Mr. Shit. Being offensive or not, in this movie, the word fuck is used 272 times. I mean, just imagine. David Duchovny auditioned for a role, but he didn't get it. Although, I would like to see him play a Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, that's a little too close to Mr. Shit. Tim Roth, the guy who played Mr. Orange, laid in a pool of fake blood so long that he actually got stuck to the floor and had to be peeled off. It took several minutes. Filled in 25 days! Great action scenes expected and delivered. The story is great. Of course, the heist doesn't go as planned. People get killed. There's a mole in the team. All in all, it's a great movie. For all I know, you're the rat. For all I know, you're the rat! Nobody's got a clue what happened to Mr. Blue? Either he's alive or he's dead. Or the cops got him. Or they don't. This man set us up. You don't need proof when you have instinct. You wanna shoot me, you little piece of shit? You lost your mind. Don't make me do this. A cool sci-fi movie about aliens fighting each other on Earth is I'm number four. There were nine of us who escaped. Number one was killed in Malaysia. Number two was murdered in England. Number three was hunted down in Kenya. Before they come for the others, they'll come for me. M number four. DJ Caruso directed this movie. You might recognize him from Eagle Eye, Taking Lives, Disturbia. Casts include Alex Pettifier, a young British stud, is on his way. Timothy Oliphant, you know him as Hitman. And the Aussie, Teresa Palmer. Shrimps on a Bobby. Oh. Two alien species fight amongst each other. Magadorians are these ugly badasses who hunt down John Smith and his kind. As the movie goes on, he gains new powers and finds a long lost friend. Special effects are great, action scenes are mediocre. Overall, a good 109 minutes to watch. The studio tried to recreate Twilight's success with this movie. Big fan! Hey, fuck you! By marketing it as a Twilight for boys. Hopes and dreams of making the same success as the Twilight series did not came close to the hundreds of millions that they made. You have no idea. 
do what I'm capable of. You need to find the others. Together, you'll be more powerful. Until next time guys, I'm going to leave you with Denzel Washington's new movie, directed by Robert Zemeckis. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, whatever the fuck you want. Fly high. Good morning, Trina. Good morning, Captain Whitaker. Here's your manifest with 102 souls on board. Let's get them tucked in. We're ready to push. Feeling that looked like you pulled some kind of move up there, man. You saved a lot of lives. We are in a dive. I have no control on my side. We going to everybody in brace positions. The way you landed that plane was nothing short of a miracle. I see nothing but houses. Listen to me. Trim us nose down. The plane fell apart at thirty thousand feet. <laughs> We're gonna roll it. What, what do you mean roll it? Ready? Here we go. Come on the list, baby girl. There is all kinds of crazy news people out here. You're a rock star, man. You will never pay for another drink as long as you live. Captain Whitaker is a real American hero. This is Hugh Lang. He's an attorney from Chicago. Why do we need a lawyer? You don't remember having your blood drawn the night of the crash? You had alcohol in your system. That could be life in prison. The NTSB hearings in 10 days. Captain Whitaker! You're out of the microscope right now. Are you hiding There's something? You gonna shoot me? Can I come inside? Yeah, come on inside. I'll shoot you inside. This was an act of God. Those God would do this. Our investigators concluded the aircraft failed. The FAA placed 10 pilots in simulators, recreated the events. Every pilot killed everybody on board. You were the only one who could do it. You saved my mom. I want to talk about the days leading up to the accident. This thing is so heavy, it's killed me. I drank the night before the flight. Does Whitaker know he's going to jail? My clients don't go to jail. It's a lie, Whit. It's a lie. I'm trying to save your life. My life. We lost the power! Wait for impact. No one could have landed that plane like I did.